guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're only but goodie thank you for staying tuned to your girl so i had to come to you guys real quick to give you guys this update i'm big up to dotlin brown she was the one that actually told me this story from a very long time ago but i was saying i could not break the story until it hit news articles credible news articles in jamaica and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about is nancy hardy i did a story recently about her and how she was missing well she's been found and it says a senior police investigator has confirmed that the body that was excavated from a shallow grave in hanover on wednesday afternoon is that of 72 year old american nancy hardy who went missing in westmoreland on saturday and today's wednesday the body was found wrapped in a towel in a grave in bushes in the Fish River Road section of the Green Island Police Area. The police reported the Hardy of Hamest, Massachusetts in the U.S. and Phase 3 Whitehall in the Great Westmoreland went missing on Saturday but residents claimed to have seen her car on Sunday in the community where the shallow grave was eventually found. Reports from Negro police are that around 10 a.m., a friend went to visit Hardy on Saturday, but she could not be located. Hardy was last seen wearing a multicolored t-shirt and a pair of black shorts. The police went to the Fish River Road area on Tuesday evening and the shallow grave was located. The investigators returned to the area on Wednesday and the body was dug up. Hardy Vico is still not still has not been recovered and her killer remains at large. Member of the Parliament for Hanover Western, Ian Haynes, who visited the scene where the body was found, called for legislation to speed up the process of providing licensed firearms for Jamaicans to protect themselves in light of escalating violence in the country. And this is a MP talking about Jamaicans need to start arming themselves. Mm -hmm okay when i initially talked about this story so many persons were mad in my comment section that i was reporting it but uh -huh. she is not the first person that have gone missing in the last few months siobhan wighall come from connecticut originally born and raised in westmoreland turned up missing he's an 18 year old a canadian that was in a hotel in rose hall Did hanover yet, they still have not found either one of them and now yesterday another returning resident has come up missing and we're the one that they're mad at when we report these stories so, in light of this, and in light of everything that's happening, and the escalation in robberies, murder, and killings, especially since the Christmas time is about to be approaching, if you're going home to visit relatives, if you're going home just to have fun, please be careful, be cautious. We're not telling anybody not to go to Jamaica. Jamaica... Uh, they will come from when people kick we out of them country that's where we're gonna have to go to that's where i still have family members westmoreland i'm a place i had to go to negril every day to go to school hanover i'm a place Rossi's high school was where i went so i'm in no green hall i'm in no exactly where them find our body so this is literally crazy to me and Negril is like safe like i like it's a safe area especially whitehall so 
for her to go missing is a very very disheartening especially when places like Westmoreland and Hanover used to be places that were not known for things like this they were quiet areas that people felt safe and secure now them turn into murder central wild wild west that's what them call Westmoreland because of all the murders that have been happening recently Hanover is no different they moved the they moved the crime from Montego Bay to Hanover. It seems like, please be careful if you're going home. No one is not telling you not to go home. Just be careful. Our oh, place, no, no one are better than yard. Okay, but be careful. Be cautious. And for everybody that's gonna be coming in my comment section, being big mad. <laughs> This is what I do. This is what I talk about on my platform. And this is what I choose to talk about on my platform. If you don't like it, you can skirt, skirt, leave. Because me still won't be able to figure out my yard and feel comfortable and secure. And me still have family members that go to Jamaica on a regular basis. Me still have family members that live down there. So, you can't tell me nothing and tell me not to talk about it. It's in my best interest to talk know. about it. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think happened to her. Because, honestly, logically, I can't come up with any excuse as to why her body have been found in a shallow grave and she's 72 years old i'm sure people all come up with some fake excuse about she did sell, sell drugs she, she involved in a scamming she got look man just a multitude of craziness kidnap them kidnap the woman here kidnap her and probably hold her for ransom yeah, and them sitting there but Comment what your thoughts are in the comment section. And also, condolence goes out to the family. Because this woman, we have been told that she is a long-time visitor of Jamaica. Yeah. So I don't know a regular person will come there one and two she times. Have house, she have our host of Jamaica. Yeah. This, this right here, be very careful. Because I feel like the U.S., Canada and England is going to send out another warning to their residents not to visit Jamaica after this Canada, one. Wait till FBI and CIA start the ground for the ground down there. I saw craziness. Covert operations. Hmm. What are we on the make we look bad? Jesus Christ. They inviting all kinds of trouble on us though. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one man. Deuces.